Ton is a blockchain from the creators of Telegram, which was supposed to work natively directly from the messenger. But due to the litigation, there doesn't seem to be any native integration. However, cryptocurrency transactions can be performed using Telegram bots, which are most likely supported by the Toncoin development team. So, despite the fact that this development team is not directly related to Telegram, they have adopted one interesting feature. They hold competitions for both programmers and specialists from other fields. They pay decent money for the victory. If your solution does not solve the whole problem, then there is still a chance of getting some kind of reward. Let's take a look at one of the past competitions. For example, in October 2021, there was a competition in which only two people participated. Judging by the comment of one of them, his decision does almost nothing of what it should have done. However, his winnings were around 500 stone coins. Converting into dollars at the maximum rate is about uh, $2,500. The second participant, who is also the winner, received 5,000 ton coins or $20,000 for his work. Not bad, isn't it? I've been in development for over half of my life and have recently been creating a web and a blockchain solutions in Ethereum Swarm. I couldn't pass by contests that are somehow connected with Telegram because their project was announced as the killer of all previous blockchains, including all those related to Ethereum. But there is a big difference between the tone competitions and the competitions held by Telegram. Telegram audience is millions of people from all over the world. Almost every IT specialist uses Telegram. The winners of international competitions quite often participate in their competitions. Their solutions are reviewed in great detail and should work with high efficiency. Prices for winning can be either average or rather large. It seems to me that it's quite difficult to compete in such conditions. Toncoin's audience is not as large as that of Telegram, so if we evaluate the competition, we can consider it acceptable. High efficiency of your solution is of course appreciated, but an incomplete working solution also can win. The rewards for winning places are quite high. So what strategy should you have in order to make money in Toncoin competitions? Most likely your skills should be at least average or slightly above average. The less skills you have, the more free time you should have to compensate for the knowledge gaps. You need to start participating as quickly as possible in order to have as many benefits as possible. Despite the fact that the competition is not very strong, it still exists. It is best to have time and reserve to get a more or less polished solution. Therefore, you should subscribe to their GitHub and receive notifications of new competitions by email. The next step for the participant is to understand how popular the technologies are that are used to solve the problem of the competition. The more popular or simpler technologies, the more professionals there will be among competitors. For example, front-end-only tasks are likely to have some really cool solutions that are difficult to compete with. The worst competition is a clean front-end with a lead time of one or two weeks. Yes, the longer the lead time, the less likely the average specialist will win. So. In my opinion, the most favorable competition conditions are those in which you need to create solutions in a short period of time using technologies that is known by as few people as possible. But you should have time to get to grips with these new technologies in a short amount of time. Most likely the most effective competition will be problems in fifth language or something like that. Not many people in the world know this programming language. Even just to start developing on it, you need to do non-obvious manipulations. Using the link in the description below, I give you instructions on how to write the first program on fifths. And I say goodbye to you until the next video. Bye!